I'll talk. All right. Yeah, you talk. This is the timing procedure for a, a Cummins PT system. We're rotating the engine over to determine top dead center on cylinder number three. Cylinder number four. Now we're going to set this dial down to determine top dead center. We're going to find the top of the end of the stroke of this of number four cylinder. Right in there. Is that it? Now that we've found top dead center by where the dial stopped and turned turned around to go back, we're gonna take all the play out of the dial and come back up about twenty-five thousandths of an inch so that we don't damage our gauge. We're gonna set it at zero. And this is slightly past zero. Now, now we're gonna determine the full stroke of the, of the fuel push tube. By rotating the crankshaft 90 degrees past the top dead center. At 90 degrees past top dead center, we're going to zero the fuel push tube dial. We're going to take all the play out. We're going to lift it up about, about 25 thousandths of an inch. We're going to zero the gauge. That's a little bit above zero on that one. So the middle dial is slightly above zero. The big needle is, is set on zero. We're rotating the crankshaft back to top dead center in an additional 45 degrees. The measurement on piston height is 203 thousandths of an inch before top dead center. We're going to utilize the left dial to provide 203 thousandths of an inch before top dead center. Which will be a little past the right on the Looking for 203 thousandths, so the little dial will be slightly above two and the big dial will be on three. Now the reading for injector Now the reading for injector height is read off of the injector push tube dial. And the reading is 0.372.